Hi, I'm Dennis Kameri. Today we've trekked to Etihad Stadium. For this match, I'm joined by a titan of the Richmond Football Club, Matthew Richardson. How are you, Dennis? Today should be a great match. Today's match between the Bulldogs and the Lions. They're looking sharp and the crowd are appreciating it. They run on in full confidence. They're looking sharp and the crowd are appreciating it. We have the toss of the coin. The Lions win the toss. Well, the first four rounds have been completed and we've already seen some blockbusters, but it's still too early to tell how those games will shape this season. It's been interesting to see how each of the teams have planned and shaped up for the season. I'm looking forward to seeing how the rest of the season pans out. These lineups look very strong and both teams look f The game is underway. Turning the ball over in the middle of the ground opens up your defence, so both teams will be looking to move the ball forward cleanly and look for some easy options early. Ruffin onto the ball. They've conceded possession. Hand passed by Pepperoni. Not sure what he was trying to attempt there, but the ball has changed possession. Dalhouse going for number one. It's hit the post. That's the line. The Western Bulldogs by a point. Bastonac looking for a lead. Rockliffe claims the ball. He's done a Lady Gaga. He kept everyone guessing. Picked up the ball. Martin runs past and gets the ball. It's impossible to outplay an opponent. You can't outthink. Think about that. Liberatore gets the ball. He grabs it on the run. Dalhouse comes in like a wrecking ball. Cordy with the running catch. A solid knife from Lester. Chips it down towards half forward. A good mark under the circumstances. Pontempelli with the kick. Rockliffe gathers it. Pressure didn't phase him. Kicks as cool as the other side of the pillar. String it right under it. Kicks. Nice work from Ruffhead. Gets boot to high. He takes control of the loose ball. He gains possession. Takes possession. Robinson with a short hand pass. Scoops up the bouncing ball. They can't seem to maintain possession. They simply handed it over. It'll be a ball up on the outer wing. Martin. It's just a real slippery customer if you give him any space. Robinson has injured himself. Robinson will be heading off the field. That looks really serious to me. Dalhouse gets the ball. Dalhouse has a kick. Dalhouse kept his cool and it pays off. The Bulldogs lead. Umpire has the ball ready for the centre bounce. Ruffhead timing terrible. He's leaving his messages before the beat. He'll get a free for that tackle. Far too high. Beams with the kick. Has he? Yes, he's paid it. Taylor with no time to delay with that kick. Choose to kick it. Simply outplayed the opposition there. 50 metres, that was simply running across the mark. Close, going for number one. You can see that happening right after it left his boot. The Lions will be trying to kill the momentum of the opposition. Morris, shown a lot of character with his recent performances. Zorko, really forced to earn that mark. Zorko kicks for goal, he gets the behind.
Morris looking for a lead. Biggin marks it. Don't know how he managed to get that out of the pack. Collected by Bronton Pelly. McCray passes. Nice one, two. McCray with a kick at goal. The long kick doesn't make the goal. The Western Bulldogs by a goal. Bastanak may not be the first guy you'd follow into battle, but you're glad that he's on your team, that's for sure. Flying high, and he gets the ball. Dalhouse lining up with the goals. Sending it on its way. The mark will be paid. Sending it on its way. Dalhouse picks it up. He hand passes it. Stringer missing the ball. Rockcliffe marks it. A short hand ball. Picks it. He uses him as a step ladder. Word is this guy is the most reliable kick for goal on the side. Slams it on the boot. Has he? Yes, he's paid it. Taylor slams it on the boot. A mark by Lester. Gets boot to leather. Steady hands there as he holds that one. Taylor has some potential and he'll really be able to unlock that potential if he has some continuous effort. A great mark under pressure. Christensen covers some ground with that kick. Roberts, with real good use of the body. Liberatore gets the footy. Close pummels him, but the kick gets away in time. The ball being picked up before it makes its target. Cordy receives the ball. The ball is hammered towards goal by Cordy. He had perfect control over the ball right up until the minute he kicked it. The Western Bulldogs by seven points. Bastanak looking for a lead. Great mark over the pack. Dalhouse a long way out. Dalhouse with a kick and goal. All eyes are watching. He's missed it. The Western Bulldogs by eight points. The defence are doing a decent job of making kicking out difficult, so I'd suggest he takes his time and just looks for the right option. A solid mark from Beams. The Lions just can't find a free man inside 50, and it's really having an impact on the scoreboard. It looks like he's got an injury. The doctor will have to take a look at that one. Christensen slams the ball to his boot. Chips it down towards half forward. A nice mark under pressure. Puts boot to ball. Ruffin gets the upper hand. Who was that to? Collected by Matheson. Has it now. He's got the footy in his hands. Cordy lays a strong tackle and forces the ball to spill free. The ball is stuck towards goal by Ruffin. It goes through for a behind. The Bulldogs fight nine. A quick option here, a pinpoint pass is the key. Matheson with the pickup. Kicks it. Good mark by Beams. Boots it. Good mark by Matheson. As we give it a break, the scores of Western Bulldogs 11, the Lions 2. The Bulldogs have to perform at a consistently higher level than others. That's the mark of a true professional. So they need to string together four quarters now. The siren sounds and that's the end of the opening turn. The scores the Bulldogs 11 to Brisbane 2. They're in front and they deserve to be in front. They stepped up in all areas and really made their opposition look second rate. Richo, how well are these teams performing? Marks are fairly close on the scoreboard with the Lions on 17 and the Bulldogs on 11. The handball stats show that the two teams are fairly even with the Bulldogs on 18 and the Lions on 13. You always have that unique perspective on things, Richo. And we're back at it. Obstacles 
These are those fruitful things you see when you take your eyes off your goals. The ball finds its way into the grateful clutches of the opposition. Oh, that's a nice long kick. Nice mark under pressure. Pat Rennie slams it on the boot. Solid as a rock and he comes away with a lovely contested mark. Delivers the footy with a beautiful drop pass. Chip kick along the wing. Nice mark under pressure. Taylor, he's quite clean, picking up the ball on the half volley. Rockcliffe puts his boot on it. Murphy takes a contested mark. He boots it. Liberatore with the catch. He has a mighty kick of the footy. Over the top of the pad. Trims the grass with that one, has he? Yes, he's paid it. Jams it on the boot now. Catch by Christensen. Bumps the big skin. Taylor marks it. Choose to kick it. Christensen marks. A monster kick will be required from here. Not the easiest of angles, this one. He's taking the shot from the back 40 degrees. Keeps it close to the ground. Stuck the mitts out and held on to it. Liberatore. He's got some sure hands. He doesn't often fumble the loose ball. Robinson gains possession. He boots it. Wood catches it. Choose to kick it. Stuck the mitts out and held on to it. Chips it down towards half forward. He sneaks away for an uncontested mark. Liberatore intercepts the bouncing ball. Johannesson picks it up. Robert scrunts past and gets the ball. He boots it from the pack. Nice contested mark by McRae. The dominance we're seeing from the Bulldogs at the moment has come mostly from their running goals. They just haven't been able to get up to the contest and take a mark inside forward 50. A solid use of the body there. Paperone has the ball. He's got a handball away. Passes by hand. Roberts doesn't waste that opportunity. Spears a low ball. Great mark over the pad. Sends the Sharon on its way. Has he? Yes, he's paid it. Pat Rooney feeling the pressure. Gets the quick kick away. Kicked by Rockcliffe. Hunter got under it. A low stabbing kick. Caught. Bonton Pelly. He's one of the cleanest marks of the football in the game. Puts boot to ball. That's a nice strong mark. He boots it. He takes a strong mark. He gets boot to the ball. That's a mark. Gets boot to high. Stringer gets the upper hand. Mids it quickly by hand. Liberatore likes his chances for goal. That was a poor kick, wasn't it, Richard? That's an absolute shocker. Look at that behind tally for the Western Bulldogs. Lots of wasted opportunities there. He's no oil painting, but look at him climbing the pack like a pop-up toaster. Got his eye on the ball all the way and took the mark well. The ball in the hands of Beans. Intercepted. Squeezes out a handball. He picked it up off the ground. Gets boot to high. Close with the catch. Close hammers the ball for goal. Now that miss could be costly. Brisbane trailing, but they can still easily catch up from here. The Bulldogs just seem to hit every target with their disposal. They're just incredibly efficient in this match. Takes a strong mark. He boots it. Dalhouse takes the mark. He boots it. Liberatore with good strong hands. He kicks it long. Matheson gets the ball. Ruckhead takes possession. Primary has the football. Cordy goes for home. That one puts them right back in contention. The umpire set to bounce to restart the game. Martin with the mighty fist, picking with the football. Was that a throw? I think it was. Martin with a daisy cutter. Matheson alone for the uncontested mark. Well, Brisbane haven't been able to set up many shots of goal, but I'm not sure that's the Ford's fault. The ball has been coming in way too slow. You can't expect your Ford to kick a winning total that way. 
Liberatore puts his boot on it. Bastinac with a strong mark. Boots it. Bicken has a great set of hands. Fantastic now. Martin gets the ball. Liberatore intercepts it. Dishes it off to the running play. Gets boot to leather. He sneaks away for an uncontested mark. Close going for number one. He's missed it. The Lions just dropped more than two goals behind. Morris to bring it in. Takes possession. Sends the Sharon on its way. It bounced straight into his hands as if he just called a puck over the whistle. There's been a lot to enjoy in the second quarter. The scores are the Bulldogs, 18, the Lions, 4. It looks like the Lions have not been themselves in the first half. I'll tip them to come out firing in the second half. But for the Bulldogs fans out there, it certainly has been a polished first half performance. Anything stands out there, Richo, with the stats? Well, the scoreboard says they're winning, but you wouldn't have thought so looking at those stats. Thanks for that, Richo. We're halfway through the game now. I can't wait for the next half. There's the siren to start the second half. If you have everything under control, you're not moving fast enough. He threaded the needle to get the handball out, and he's heading for home. Look at that. He's put it through. Goal number two for 40. The Bulldogs find 20 points. You can feel the intensity build as both Ruckman prepare for the bounce. Deft touch from Martin. Dalhouse threading the needle right there. He asks for it back. She's running hot, Richo. He seems to always be in the contest, Dennis. He's had lots of touches this match. The Western Bulldogs over. Brisbane by 21. Bastinac is a pretty decent kick of the footy, but you can always be better. That's some big air. Matheson kicks it. Strong mark there. Fontampelli with the kick. He grabs it. Slams it on the boot. Nice contested mark by Dalhouse. Slams it on the boot. Catch by Taylor. Jams it on the boot now. Almost a touch of synchronized swimming about that mark. Almost the pair. Kicked in a flurry. Matheson takes the mark uncontested. Jams it on the boot. The mark missed by Taylor. Gives it to the running man. He kicks the ball out of congestion. Pat Wayne up to the top. Choose to kick it. Bontem Pelly claims the ball. Gets good to high. It's like he has the ball on a string. Hand passed by Stringer. Approaching the goals now. Dalhouse knocks it through to a point. Too many behinds on the board for the Bulldogs. There could be a short option here. Solid catch. Brisbane just can't find a free man inside 50 and it's really having an impact on the scoreboard. Puts boot to ball. Dalhouse with a strong mark. Puts boot to ball. Liberatore looking a real threat out there when he pulls in contested marks like that one. Gets boot to high. Boyd with the mark. 30 meters from high. Going for goal number one. The goal eludes him just wide of the tiger. The Bulldogs leads by 23. Bastanak gets set to kick it back in. Strong mark. Jams it on the boot now. 
The ball finds its way into the grateful clutches of the opposition. Liberatore starts in, his shadow beside him. Where else would it be? It all depends on the side. That's two in a row for the Western Bulldogs. The Bulldogs fight 29. The bounce straight down. Punch by Martin. The loose ball picked up by Roberts. He gains possession. Liberatore charges fiercely with a powerful bump. Close feeds it wide. Christensen taking aim. There's a vast chasm between him and the goals ahead. He's kicking from a 45-degree angle. He's really a ball magnet. He grabs it on the run. Zorka going for number one. Brisbane are in real trouble now. Umpire has the ball, ready for the centre bounce. Clean tap by Martin, squeezes out a handball. Nice interception, penetrating hand pass. Hunter heading in, watch his style. Big and catches, as cool as a prize marrow as he lines up for this shot. Collected by Martin, the ball in the hands of Roughhead. He has the ball, squeezes out a handball. Bontempelli with a short hand pass, going for goal number one. Great throw. He has a mighty kick of the footy. Mays grabs that one. Well, Brisbane haven't been able to set up many shots of goal, but I'm not sure that's the Ford's fault. The ball has been coming in way too slow. You can't expect your Ford to kick a winning total that way. Puts boot to ball. Rich gets the catch. Boots it. A solid mark from Matheson. Bumps the big skin. A good mark under the circumstances. Boots it. Zorka with the mark. 50 metres out. He's on a 30 degree angle. Going for goal number two. Well, it could be worse, I suppose, Richard. He might as well have just dropped the ball on the ground, Dennis. Dalhouse with the pass. Ruffhead spears the ball. Marks. Perspiring like a pudding in a pot as he lines the shot up. The Western Bulldogs increasing the lead to four goals. There could be a short option here. Bicken enjoying a height advantage. Too far out to score, sure. An ideal position to be kicking from. He controls the bouncing ball. He has clearly been shopping at playing as a Russ. Thought he kicks a Robinson type kick. Don't see those too often. Look straight for the net. Bastanek has a fair kick on him. I expect him to roost this down the middle. Rockliffe gets the upper hand. Rockliffe is a great mark on the lead, but he can sometimes get work under the ball in the contest. If he can lift his overhead capability, he will be a star. Dalhouse slams the ball to his boot. Ruffhead going for number one. Couldn't see all the deal. I hope there are no guys down there looking for a sample after this guy. He has a few options. Waiting for the three-quarter time siren now. The contest, no match for him. Ruffhead dishes it off by hand. He's able to thread a needle and that kick comes out of the pack. Picked up by Gordon. He's really a ball magnet. The Bulldogs are leading by 26 as we go to the final break. Well, they're still in it, but they need something to ignite them in this last quarter. They can't expect their opposition to hand it to them. Richo, what do the stats tell us? The Lions are far behind on the scoreboard, but a neck and neck with the Bulldogs in the stats. Much appreciated, Richo. Push yourself again and again. Don't give an inch until the final siren sounds. He receives the handball. Handballs from the tackle. Handball short. Rockliffe going for number one. Goal to the Lions. The Lions have scored the last two goals. They're giving it their all to get back into this game.
Martin, try swinging your purse next time. Rich coming from the guy wearing makeup. Cordy has his head down now. The ball crosses the line. A chance for both teams to set up as the ball crosses the line. Jams it on the boot now. Hunter has a great set of hands. Fantastic man. This will certainly test him from this distance. A set shot on a 45 degree angle. Grabs the footy. Liberatore takes him down, but the kick is away. Liberatore manages to sneak it through. That's his second. The lead has been increased. The Ruckman steal themselves before the bounce. Great bounce. Tapped by Roughhead. Is in his possession. Taylor intercepts it. He gets tackled as he hands it off. Clean pick up by Liberatore. She's running hot, Richo. He seems to always be in the contest, Dennis. He's like he's on a tightrope at the moment. Look at that fancy football. Cordy winds it up. This will have to be his very best kick to score from this range. McCraig might struggle for this distance. A 45 degree shot is not too hard. He just has to keep his cool. Marks. Booted by Rockcliffe. Has it now. He grabs it on the run. Not many possessions for Rich. Puts the head down as he runs in. Great. Hit the woodwork. The Western Bulldogs with the ascendancy over the Lions, leading the match 43 to 16. Their disposal efficiency has been fantastic, but Brisbane need to begin taking more gambles if they're going to cause some damage on the scoreboard. He gets in under pressure. Martin by hand. Rockcliffe returns it. Oh, it's in the book, so we're going to have to deal with it, but it doesn't mean we have to like it. Not a pretty drop punt, but it gets away okay. It's been intercepted by the opposition. Ruffhead going for number one. Slots it, and that puts them further in front. The Bulldogs have scored the last two goals. That could be the final nail in the coffin. Here's the bounce. Martin with first hands to the ball. Casanova would have been jealous of that pickup. Roughhead with the handball out of the pack. Cordy with his head down, running for home. Nice kick. This kick puts them further into the lead. That's three in a row for the Western Bulldogs. That could be the final nail in the coffin. The Western Bulldogs' cords are marking everything and converting their set shots. It's meant that the Bulldogs' midfielders have had complete faith in their cords and are using them as the preferred avenue to goal. Liberatore picks it up. He receives the handball. It's like he has the ball on a string. All of a sudden, the ball has become a hot potato. Quickly disposed of by Hunter Stringer. Obviously loves playing for the club. I can't imagine him being anywhere else. The mark will be paid. He gets the hand pass, he heads into home, interception, even under extreme pressure he's got the handball out, he hand passes it, Martin kicks the ball, Walker gets the catch, jams it on the boot now, she's running hot with Joe, you're right Dennis, he's an absolute ball magnet, he runs into the goal, Johannesson there to mop it up, a short handball, Zorko with the interception, Walker boots it, a rushed kick. Look at that. He's put up through. The Lions not enjoying this. Ruckman awaiting the bounce. Nice bounce. The Bulldogs are really trailing in the clearance count. They might... The umpire will ball it up. Tapped by Roughhead. The loose ball picked out. He gets the hand pass. Bastanak is starting to get a lot of the football. Gardner with the hand pass. He's heading for home. Smith with the goal. This kick stretches the lead. That could be the final nail in the coffin. The Rucks prepare to go at it for this bounce. The bounce straight down. Martin taps. Walker collects. 
He has the ball. Bontempelli has the ball. She's running hot, Richard. Yep, Dennis. He's a class act. Got it again, Richard. You're right, Dennis. I've just about run out of things to say about his performance. I'm just going to watch and enjoy this display. He's had lots of touches this match. He takes control of the loose ball. And the mark will be paid. Jams it on the boot. Pointless attempt by Ruffhead. Very quiet by his standards. Wallace runs past and gets the ball. And he's heading for home. Almost a touch of synchronized swing about that mark. That was the peg. McCray puts it on the boot. And the mark will be paid. Ruffhead unloads one towards goal. Goes wide to the behind. It looks like the Bulldogs have this one in the bag. Bastanak has been a solid contributor for this team. His coach will know what to expect from him week to week, which really helps when structuring the team. Matheson flies high. Puts boot to bowl. That's a nice, strong mark. Dalhouse kicks it. Wallace with a strong mark. Nicely intercepted by Paparone. The ball is smothered. The loose ball scooped up. He receives the handball. Tackle, but gets the handball off. Snicks the ball away in time. Cordy going for number four. The Western Bulldogs have scored the last two goals. That could be the final nail in the coffin. Ruffhead got a fist on it, hunted with the ball. Listen, here's the thing. This game is over before it began, and I don't think there's anything further I can add that will shed light on this outcome. Very one-sided. What are your thoughts on the match, Richard? Grass grows, birds fly, waves pound the sand, and the Western Bulldogs beats team up. Western Bulldogs have beaten the Lions 68 to 22. That's it for this match. Thanks to my co-commentator, Matthew Richardson. It's great being here, Dennis. I can't wait for the next match. Thanks for joining us. As always, it's been a pleasure. We look forward to seeing you back soon.